Okay, so here we go with the review of the individual kit. This is all the stuff packed up in its boxes, uh, extra supplies. Uh, I know it's probably not good to keep this ex stuff exposed to light, but this lets me know uh, where it is. If I just stick it in a bag somewhere, it'll get lost. So I'll put it in here and keep it out of the sunlight. This is all the extra stuff I showed you in the first video. This is uh, what I ended up with. Uh, just uh, had an old nylon bag, first aid, all set, open it up, happens to be red. I have the Adventure Medical Kits emergency blanket here, that two person one. And I have a uh, Tyvek uh, from REI triangular bandage, just in its own little thing with a couple of pins there. So. Just some extra items. And then here is the main kit, just like he had with his little list. It's not on waterproof paper. I haven't gotten that yet. I crossed out the things that I don't have on there, but uh, this is uh, the kit that I came up with. So let's go through it quick here. Open it up. It's a little overstuffed, a little stuffed bigger than his. Not sure why, but uh, tried to put essentially the same stuff in there. So we have the instruction sheet, just like he uh, has, and uh, not waterproof, but uh, I really like the fact that he has the instructions on here on, on what to take, and I checked it against the ones I bought, uh, and it does it does match up. I don't have the, uh, the Pepsid yet, so I'll have to get a couple of little things from the gas station uh, on that. Uh, you know, like I said, opens up long side, took the printing off just because he did, so you can see how it works. And uh, go in here and pull it out, and there's about 10 different uh, pieces total. Um, so the moleskin right there, that's uh, one of them. No explanation there. Uh, this is uh, the tape pack that he had, duct tape. Uh, this is permeable uh, plastic tape, three quarter inch, and then the cloth tape that adheres to itself. This is some, uh, I never even knew this existed. That's some pretty amazing stuff. That could replace a lot of band-aids because they always seem to be falling off. Uh, looks kind of ugly, but uh, you know, it sure does work well. And, and then I just put it on a little piece of plastic cardstock like he had that I cut out. I made mine just a tad too big for this bag. Uh, so make sure that you make it small enough for the bag you're using, but that's the plastic there. Uh, four packs of, or four, two pairs, four actual nitro gloves. And let me show you my cheap vacuum sealer here. You get this stuff and it's all, uh, you know, of course makes a big uh, bunch of air in there and you try and squeeze the air out and everything. So this is what I did. I take a book here, I put it in the book, and I squeeze all the air out and then no, oh, I have to open it up here. These are some really cheap Walmart bags. I don't know. I'm going to have to get some better ones, I think. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so you open up the book. Of course, you wouldn't have it in the field, but if you're in your home, hold it over a little bit there. Now you're basically squeezing all the air out. And there you go with a nice flat pack, a lot bigger than doing with your hands. So that's my little tip. Hope it works for you. So there's the bags. A couple of band-aids. Probably need some more. Did the same thing. Get all that air out by squeezing it in a book. Uh, the little tweezers. That comes in the Adventure Medical Kit. I think that just comes in the basic first aid kit. Uh, so put those in there. Put a little cotton down there because they were rattling around. Uh, the pharmacy stuff. Just like he has, it's all labeled, everything's all set. Uh, you know, I got the 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. This is the date I put it in here. Uh, the Benadryl, the um, anti-diarrheal, that's lopramide, I guess. And uh, these are uh, actually Tylenol. <laughs> well, the Quay brand, acetaminophen is the Tylenol, not the Advil and ibuprofen is the Advil. So, got those four. Need to get some of the Pepsid uh, uh, antacid type stuff from the grocery store. And I've never really ever used antacid for anything, but I know some people have problems with acid reflux and heartburn do use it. 
Uh, here's the little Benadryl spray I was talking about. You know, there is not much in here, but uh, they also make this in a little gel. But I figured I would uh, try that out. So instead of the swabs, I had this for the sting. So maybe it'll work better, maybe not. Uh, quick clot, $10. So actually I said $90. I forgot about this. This is another 10 bucks just for this one thing right here. Uh, again, the the um, gauze pads, sponges. So I just put them all in the same bag, did the same thing that USNER doc did. When, took it out of the pack, made sure my hands were clean, did it in a clean area so this isn't sterile. It's just clean or sanitary. Again, for field condition, it's in this um, nice plastic bag here. REI sells these bags, bags individually. They're a quarter for this size and I think 15 cents for this size. And they are much better quality than those Walmart bags I got, but they only have two sizes. Okay, this size here is 15 cents and these are a quarter, but I just put it all in there, stuffed it in the book, got it down. There's, I think, five of those um, pads and two of those. I left those in the paper wrapping just so it could tell the difference between them. And then here's uh, the wound kit with the uh, razor, the steri strips, the irrigation um, syringe, uh, all that. And some of that came with the Adventure Medical Kit's wound closure kit. So I'll just pull this out of here real quick. Um, Here's the steri strips. There's 10 of them in there, quarter inch, I guess, and uh, those would work pretty good. They call them wound closure strips. Um, the alcohol prep pads that I showed you in the f in the first segment there. Um, I got four of them in there. Probably should put more, but it's, you can see I'm running out of space. The uh, Provodon iodine pads. Again, those are from. Um, REI, you get 10 of them, and that's, I, as I understand it, I'm not a medical professional of any sort, so that's basically betadine in there. Uh, the razor blade, the four butterfly, I guess I got five in here, butterfly closures, uh, the triple antibiotic from REI, I got, I think, four in there. I mean, that is an important thing. I do use this all the time around the house for my son, and it's important to put some antibiotic ointment, I think. Again, just my opinion, I never use hydrogen peroxide, I never use anything else, but I do, you know, whenever I get a cut, I put some antibiotic ointment on there. So I always you generally carried a tube of, uh, you know, the generic Neosporin, but I think this is more than enough, um, even though they're just single use, um, four of them in there would last you, hopefully. Here's the irrigation syringe that, uh, was talked about on the adventure medical kits and it does work good it's like a fire hose you whoosh, that in there I tested it out and uh, 10 milliliters and it really does come out hopefully I never have to use it to irrigate a wound of course I've always just been used to putting your finger under running faucet and then this is the uh, tincture of benzoine again that kept came in the uh, Adventure Medical Kits Wound Closure Kit. So that kind of gave me a good start. But it all does fit in this uh, 6x9 sack. Again, it's a little difficult to get it back in there, uh, but this sack seems to be doing well, and that's my whole thing. Uh, put it on the scale here. I do have uh, Cheapo Harbor Freight $15 scale. The whole thing, when it's all packed up, weighs 10.2 ounces, I believe. So. That should be it, and then that's adding in, that's including this uh, large survival or emergency blanket, which is foil on one side and orange on the other. I have a little bit of tape in there, and this triangular bandage, which I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it sure does look cool and seems like it would be a handy thing to have. Um, again, this is Tyvek, so the stuff they wrap your house with. So it's plastic, not cloth. I thought that was very odd, but that's a breathable permeable plastic and I suppose much better than cloth as far as that goes and uh, you know shows you how to make the sling there and for a knee and for your head and for your hand and for your foot so hopefully I'll be able to use that. Two other things I do carry with me that aren't in this kit is a large ace bandage and some uh, Aurigel um, maximum strength tooth, uh, which, tooth, tooth pain reliever. So that's kind of a numbing agent on, on your mouth, and that would uh, work pretty well. All right, well, let me know what you think of this. Again, I credit.